What's up, you guys? My name is Blood Warrior 99, and today we are going to most likely check out that uh, ruin over there because I want to. I see nothing in our way, so let's just go ahead and go there ourselves. That is some pixelated water, and that is a really bright <clears throat> slaughterfish. Okay. Well, there we go. So, since I've played this game a bajillion, bajillion times, I know there's like three bandits over here. Let's see if we can get the jump on them. Oh, oh, there's one. Wait for it. Stop moving. Oh, I missed! What the hell? I, Like I said, the arrow physics in this game are so bad that it's really hard to aim. Cause that usually, uh... Usually you'll end up missing if you're trying to hit from far away. You're dead. You want bow battle? You want to battle with bows? Ow. You're very good. Let's light you on fire. You're dead. Oh my god, I faced through that tree. Okay. <laughs> As you can see, she was shot in the hip. That's gotta hurt. I'm being really serious. Oh, that's really gotta hurt. You oh my gosh, did I shoot you? Oh my god, I'm surprised she's still standing. I shot her in the... I guess it's the chest. I thought I shot her more in the neck. But... Uh, another thing to take note of is that some books, especially when they're more valuable, can raise your skills like this one, raise hand to hand. I won't read them. Actually, if you want to read them, I will just quit where, where, where did I, I thought that, there it is. I will just quickly flip through them. So you guys can pause and read them if you feel like it. It's not that uh, I don't want to read them. It's because it'll waste time on the video. And of course some people don't like to watch me listen to me read them. And not all of them are very important. I'll read the important ones like ones for quests and stuff like that. Or ones that are interesting. <laughs> but that one's just a little story about a group of vampires I believe. If I haven't ran in forever, though. But, uh... Besides that, I, I know for certain. Well, does that mud crab want to fight? Yep, he does. Let's go. I think these mud crabs look the coolest out of all the Elder Scrolls games. I don't know. Maybe it's just their colors, how colorful they are, but I really like how they look. I think it's cool. Not everyone does, but I do. Okay. So now that we, uh... Have finally searched most of the area, besides this little thing up here... You'll find these all around the world, but, uh, alien wells, uh, increase your magicka, I believe? For a short... not for a long period of time, actually. Let's see. Yeah. As you can see, the bar above the, uh, the spell effect symbol shows what, uh, well, shows how long it will be until it lasts. Normally, it goes away after a little bit, but that's, of course, depending on how long it goes for. You get a cool twinge of purple when you equip it. Uh, let's see what we can find ourselves in this cave. Hello? Anybody? I've been in this cave plenty of times now that someone should be right here. And of course I'm sneaking be Oh, I knew it. You're dead. Okay. I should have probably used my blade. But, uh... Because, uh... Blades do, I think, four times the amount of damage at the apprentice level of skills. And, uh, swords do four? 
Bows do two, swords do four. I wonder if it'll tell me. Uh, no. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just had something in my throat. Uh, I guess I should explain a little bit about what skill levels are, like th the level they're at. So there's five levels a skill can be at, because they, they'll give you certain abilities. Uh, novice is from 0 to 24. Uh, of course, uh, oh, she noticed me. Uh, apprentice is 25 to 50, journeyman is 50 to 75, expert is 75 to 99, and master is 100. Uh, and in those, during the time that skills are within that, you'll have a certain amount of abilities. Well, of course, you gain an ability when you get to them. It's not like they take away one. But, oh, look at that. Think you're gonna give me with that? Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. But, of course, that depends on the skill is what you'll get. Uh, usually, they're, usually they're really good. But the only sucky thing is with magic skills. Really? You had to see me? With magic skills, like, j they take a certain skill level to actually perform them, and that's what the next uh, skill level for them is. It's not very fun, just considering that you wish you could have a different ability or something to go along with it, but... That doesn't matter too much. Did I choose? Yeah, I definitely chose sneak as a major skill. I just, because it wasn't leveling up, I was really confused. Uh, I don't know what the apprentice skill uh, does for you when you get to the apprentice, because of course all of these are set at 25, that's what major skills do. But for sneak, I'm not too sure. I know when we get to journeyman, we'll actually be able to... Uh, roll when we're sneaking which is a really good really good thing i like it it's cool wait no it's is that aerobatics i can't remember where are you that guy is walking fast where are oh you? i'm not here okay i don't think he's looking back <gasps> boom you're dead oh six damage okay uh, I don't even know where that guy is. That's our next area. But I don't I don't see our little uh red guard friend. I mean I'm assuming he's still down here, but uh I'm hoping that he doesn't notice us or he's coming back. What is he doing? Is he trying to find me? Did he disappear? Did he go farther into the depths of the Oh no, he's right there. Okay, okay. Easy now. You're just gonna What's get that? sliced! What? Well, I guess he's the rain leader, so it didn't. Now, doing hand to hand is a lot easier in this game, well, unless you're a bandit. But, uh, being a bandit is a lot easier in this game. Not bandit. Using hand to hand. Because in Morrowind, it was certainly not the easiest thing to do, because, uh... In order to do any damage to the, uh, player that you were hurting, you'd have to actually decrease their stamina to zero, knock them down, and then you could do damage while they're on the ground. That was a huge pain. I've never... <laughs> I've never done that, and I probably never will. Unless I'm really feeling like a masochist. Oh, you... Ooh, I got you. It's going for the kill. There you go. I don't know if anyone's up there. We'll find out. Uh, I don't. I don't know what what there else to tell. The, this place is pretty cool. I like the effects they put in the Aelid ruins. They're fancy. Uh. Although it doesn't look like it, this game kind of has collectibles like other games. Gosh damn it. You missed. 
what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Stop running. Meet your fate. There. So, as I was saying, this game sort of has collectibles, but not in a real big sense that doing them will get you any super big prize. Besides Nernru, which I believe I've collected before. No. Uh, <clears throat> Nernru is, a, is just a plant that you can collect by water. Which, if you give it to a certain guy in a certain area, he will, uh... He'll more than likely uh, give you a potion for it. There we go, that's what I needed. Let's drop this. Greaves, what? Oh, the only thing I don't have iron is gauntlets. Okay. Those are greaves. I'm stupid. Well, it's not like these greaves are broken or anything, but I, I don't know. I guess it's kind of... I guess it's better to wear something that says iron. I'm not, I don't know. Oops, every time. I've been playing... I've been playing different games there. Now everything is a goddamn mess. Are you happy? So the Welkin Stone that we saw down here... It'll, I think, if I'm not mistaken... It'll uh, recharge an item that's enchanted that has a limited amount of uses on it. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm gonna do that a lot. I have a lot of movies in my throat. I'm very sorry about that. But uh, I think it in either increases the enchantment that you have, like powers it up, whatever you want to call it, or for something like it'll uh, recharge your mana, magicka, if you, of course, haven't. If you've used it, I'm not too sure. But they're they're not super rare, but they're pretty valuable itself. So it's better just to just to keep them, or at least wait until uh, so they they prove useful. Because it's not like they come in abundance and you can buy them from a merchant. You actually have to find them in these alien ruins. And, uh, you gotta make sure that you don't run out of them. Oh, he saw me at the last second. You're dead. Okay. I'm telling you, like, the first few levels, uh... This frost spell, whatever it's called... Cold touch is really good. And, uh, it certainly kills most people in a couple hits. Um, it's certainly not overpowered, like, it still costs quite a bit of mana to use. I'm gonna keep saying mana instead of magicka. Just, uh, don't, don't hate me, please. Just try my best. Uh, let's see. I know there's a way out of here. This isn't it. Don't worry. I'm not doing this for nothing. There you go. This will open it up something. There it is. Ooh, blood. This is actually... I know it looks very blurry, but I kind of like the blood effects that they had in this game. It's not the greatest, but, uh... There's a dead bandit on a table. Someone was doing a crazy-ass devil ritual. Maybe. Uh, thank you for the arrows. You got nothing better on you. Well, uh, the devil hasn't come out and announced himself to me, so I'm going to assume that, uh, they didn't do any crazy ritual. Oh, I hate these guys so much. As I said in the first episode, zombies are the goddamn worst. You see how much freaking... Wrong button. You know how much freaking health they have? They're a pain, they cause a lot of disease. They're easy to dodge, but it's just a pain to fight them. Like, you just, you just wanna... You want them all to die, and I don't have enough magic up. Damn it. Die, please, thank you. And the only thing they usually carry on them is mort flesh. It's worthless, and it weighs two pounds, so there's no point in carrying it. They just... They're, they're not my favorite. 
They're certainly not my favorite. Uh, I know there is a door I saw back up there, but uh, I think this might be a divergent path from where I need to go. So I'm definitely going to go over here. Well, oh, really? Do I have a poison? I think I still have those poisons. Yeah. Well, I mean, it barely works, but... Let's kill him. Oh, he resists it. Great. I hope that the- Oh, re skeleton! Okay. It's getting a little ridiculous now. I don't remember skeletons being that hard to kill. Uh, I really don't. It's not too hard to kill. Oh. It's not too hard to kill either of these guys. They just have a ton of health. But the thing that the zombie doesn't do, that the skeleton does do later, is become a piece of shit. Because <laughs> skeletons, I mean, their lower counterparts aren't too hard to defeat at later levels, but certainly... Let's get him out of the way. Uh, before I go on about that rant, that message you should rest and meditate on what you learn, it basically is just saying... God damn it. <laughs> My, uh, my weapon's about to break. Okay. It's not about to say, God damn it. That means, uh. Oh, wait, no, that's fun. That means that you're. You can level up, you just need to rest somewhere to do it. Uh. As all weapons have a durability, mine's starting to break. Uh. God. Gosh damn it. Let's go back up here. I wanna. What do you, you had a dagger on you. I know it doesn't do, like, any damage, but... Oops, I pressed the wrong button. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons there. <laughs> okay. We're just gonna drop this, make it that, so I don't have to repair that, and I'll, I'll keep this for a little while. If I find a bed, I'll, I'll uh, rest... And then I got a message because I forgot that I was uh, uh, offline. I'm sorry about that. It is my fault. Should have known better. Oh. Oh. I'm just so used to having Steam online that uh, I just thought I could get away with it without anyone messaging me. Of course not. Uh, ooh, this is a very spacey area. And a little, a little uh, underwater, underwater area. So it seems that that door was actually the the, the diger, the, the divergent path there. And uh, I actually went to the path they probably wanted me to go because that's the third level and I believe the last level of this area. Uh, oh, oh, oh! Well, he knows, he knows me already. How you doing, mate? Okay. Yeah! I would have taken the steel, uh, steel, not, yeah, steel war axe that the skeleton that we fought before had, but that's blunt, and I chose blade as a major skill instead of blunt. It's not that I don't like blunt weapons, it's they're more damage over speed, and I like speed. I like swords, I don't know. It's just my preference. It's not like they're that different from each other. There's not much you can do about these archers. You just kind of have to kill them. But, I have a cool trick. And, oh, something's down here. I don't know where I'm going anymore. The cool trick you can see is that you, since, uh, of course, these stones are physics enabled, you can shoot. What? There, you can shoot them right off their pedestals and grab them if they're high up. That's why they also kept the telekinesis spell in this game, is so you can grab them off of there. Actually, I think they were trying to show you how to do it by, uh, do, by showing these arrows. But, uh, it's not too hard. Just don't try to do it when... There's enemies. Now, if I really wanted to, I'll... 
If I really wanted to, I could probably get away with uh, getting my sneak skill all the way up if I just stood by these skeletons. Oh, he knows I'm here. Never mind. Come on. Come on. They keep going up so fast. Damn it. Go. Oh, there. There we go. Okay. Sorry, I just had to use a bit of my... A bit of my... Constitution in order to, uh, open that thing without breaking too many lockpicks. Now... Uh, okay, I can open that. There's not even really a point to opening these. But, I will anyways, just so I can fight these dirtbags. Ooh, ow. Okay, Frost does not do much for them. Frost is more for humans. Undead, I think, is definitely fire. See how they, how this guy reacts to fire. Just like most RPGs, all enemies have a sort of a resist. Uh, I don't think he even notes me. Yeah, it does more damage even though it, like, is supposed to be, like, six points of damage instead of, like, 15. Hey, did he really just close that door on me? You <laughs> dirty bastard. I am your demise. Get out of here. Okay. Rings, I mean, of course, you could enchant them later. Get, I guess, decent things, especially if you need to heal or something. But I don't see much of the point in them for now. Especially since the only way you can enchant stuff is when you become an apprentice of the Mages Guild. And that only happens when, uh... Okay, we searched everything so we can actually go through here. <clears throat> Again, I'm so sorry that I'm just <laughs> regurgitating. <laughs> okay. As I was saying, uh, I don't know what I was saying. Just thought my uh, think, think you idiot. No, it's not coming back. I was talking about resistance to things, but I don't think I was talking about that. Alright, I don't know what we're gonna find, but that's definitely a trap. You wanna see a guy get killed by a trap? Hey, hey, you. Oh, I think he has arrows? I don't know. I'm gonna have one of them come to me. Come on. Watch this. Yeah! <laughs> you idiots. Oh, he's still alive! He tricked me! Get him. Boom. I also love when uh, skeletons die in this game. And even in Skyrim, they just look so cool. So Okay, that's just, that's just a iron war axe. I don't really want to grab it. But I'll steal your arrows off of you. Since arrows are weightless, I believe... Oh, no, they weigh 0.1 pounds. Never mind. <clears throat> they don't weigh too much, so you can usually carry as many as you want. I'll just put away the rest of them that I don't really need later. You don't need like a million arrows, even if you are mainly an archer in this game. But it certainly doesn't help to have a lot of them when you certainly aren't like uh, finding any enemies to carry them. So if my hypothesis is correct, daggers even have I think a times eight sneak attack damage multiplier. But I'm not too certain. No, they still only have six. I think, I guess, then it's like one handed attacks do times six, two handed do times four, and then bows do times two. Still not sure. <laughs> I should probably uh, read the manual and find out again because I know they show all the uh, skills, I think, or at least the levels. That do that. Okay. Ooh, a repair hammer. Thank the lords. Repair hammers. Oh, I still have a ton of them. Okay. Oh, I shouldn't have even repaired that. There we go. I repaired it. 
So repair hammers are basically... Oh, I'm out, I'm out of hammers. Okay. Repair hammers, of course, increase your durability and all your weapons and... Uh, everything that's a weapon or a piece of armor can degrade, I'm pretty sure. So, I'm pretty sure even staves can degrade, even though you don't really use them to hit people. But that's not much of a worry. It's more of anything physical, like uh, bow bows and blades and axes. So these, of course, will open one thing at a time, but I am no pussy. I'm gonna fight them all. Like that. There's only three of them, so I'm not that scared anyways. Come on. And, and they both can't really hit me very effectively at the same time. You're not gonna hit me, are you? Okay, fine. Let's play defensively then. Come on. Hit me. Oh, I missed the block. Oh, whatever. Okay. I'm still sneaking. It's good to sneak around just because it'll get your level up pretty fast. And that, like I said, <laughs> even when you don't notice anything's there, your skill sneak will, your skill sneak stat will still increase. Oh yeah, there he was there. I was I was thinking there was like about an enemy in each one. Oh, he he parried that little dirty bastard. Now you're dead. Okay. If you're really cheeky, you could go ahead and just try and uh, get your, like I said before, your snake skill to uh, 100 before uh, before you're even like level 2 or whatever. I mean, you don't have to level up at any point in time, you just won't get an attribute stat increase until you do it. It's a good thing I found that chamber key because I really did not want to pick a hard lock. But I would have done it. I just would have cut it out. So, what do we got here? Ooh, more skeletons. Oh, damn it. He noticed me. Come on. Let's go. So, if you, if you see that little thing, I know we can't open it here, but... That is what we call, call a Varla Stone, I believe. There, that's what's under there. I am not mistaken. Varla Stones are basically the, uh... One of the collectibles in this game. Oh, I think... I can't, I can't remember what each of them do. I don't even think you... You know, you have to be able to use them for something. I can't remember. Maybe they're a soul gem. They do something... Like, all... All uh, alien items like the Varla, Varla Stone and the Welkin Stone do at least something, if not anything. I know that stone opens the the uh, chain door, the gate. Holy, I don't know how this guy doesn't notice me. Turn the other way. Damn it. Not easy to sneak around all the time, especially at low levels. But you'll get used to it. Oh, uh, yep. Barla Stone. It's worth a thousand gold. It's a very, very valuable. But, of course, no one's gonna buy them for a thousand gold. That's what sucks, is because haggling happens. This is, uh... I know you can haggle in Morrowind, but I don't think in Skyrim you can haggle for gold. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, this is actually a, another area. The Sil... The Sel Sacramathy. However you want to pronounce it. Hey, just turn the other way. I'm not going to make you guys watch as I try and get a sneak attack on every skeleton, archer, and whatnot. But I certainly will get a sneak attack if anything but that. Cause I just, uh, it's, it's always good to get an advantage when fighting. 
Especially when the game actually gets hard. That's that's the only thing I think doesn't have an actual value besides for a quest I know. Come on. Damn it, I freaking knew it was gonna trick me. The alien statue, yeah, it's you see it, it isn't as valuable as an actual well, good stone, and for some reason, I've heard a rumor that a strange doorway has appeared on a small island in the Nibbin Bay. I should investigate. That is the Shivering Isles DLC, and I don't know why it took so long for the quest marker to appear, but I, ooh, I freaking knew there was something back here, because it didn't connect to that first area. Apparently something notices me. And I believe that forcing a lockpick is a lot, doesn't increase your lockpicking as much as actually lockpicking the thing, the doors, so that's what I'm gonna be doing from now on. Potions of healing are always nice. Okay, uh... Skeleton, nope, nothing on him. Okay, we are finally getting places. Oh, 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 come on, yeah. No, I'm not sure. I don't think that, that goes to the same place either. Someone notices me. Yep, hit me. Oh, he got, he got off a hit. Now, they always give you this restoration spell and the flame spell to you from the beginning of the game. Be sure that even if you don't buy another spell ever again, at least use the restoration spell itself because it definitely helps when uh when like you don't want to waste all your money buying potions just to heal your health when you're not doing anything. Hey, hey, it's a necromancer. I know you can't see it and I can't really see it either, but all necromancers have this red skull on their robes. Oh, oh, let's see if I can uh, get give him. Give him. I'm gonna give him. Okay, come on. What's your name? I don't want. I just want to talk. Jalbert! Ooh, you're dead. Ooh, sorry. Copper Rain. He actually had a dark shirt with him. That weighs nothing. I don't know why, but I'm taking it. Those look fancy. I didn't look at that poison, but come on, grab his body. The reason why is I just want to show you the back bottom of his robes. Come on, you, you're fat, Jalbert. You, you're either fat or I'm weak, and I'm not gonna. Okay, there. <laughs> see, see the skull, the skeletal the skull, and the skeletal hands across his face. That's just a symbol for necromancers. Not that important yet. But it's good to know. At the moment. And I just love when you touch things like gold in the vicinity. <laughs> it doesn't matter uh, what you're doing. But they'll all fall down at some point. Okay, this is an undelivered letter which I'll actually read. Aluk, my friend. I apologize that I have not written before now and I pray you worry not. How could you have known that your patrol would stumble across my outing at the cemetery? There is no denying my deed. A sack full of limbs and grave soil still fresh on my boots. With your men standing by, what choice was there but pursuit? Least they suspect your own true nature. Truly, I am glad it was you to expose me, and not another whose spellfire may not have missed my escape so widely. My new haven provides safety and bodies to work on, whether those long dead or hapless bandits. I will be content here for some time, though I dare not to say where. Care for Kasu, and know that when the time comes, I shall return to live again in our beloved Daggerfall. Until then, Captain Cardius, remain vigilant and always hidden. Jalbert. I'm pretty sure that's a reference to... Ooh, <laughs> exactly what I need Iron Gauntlets. A reference to some bandits you find in Daggerfall. Don't ask me, because I'm not sure... I beat the game, I played the game, but I did it very fast because I, I didn't want to. I didn't really want to try and fight for very long. Wait a sec. Do you even have a bed? I'd love to sleep on a bed. You sleep 
you, okay, whatever. It doesn't matter how long you rest, you'll just have to rest to ascend to another level. You have ascended to level two. You realize that all your life you have been suddenly coasting along as if you were in a dream. Suddenly facing the trials of the last few days, you have come alive. Now, of course, you get a stat increase based on what this multiplier is, based on what skills you increase. Like, what, what the skill is based off of. Even if this doesn't have a multiplier, you can choose to increase it. It'll just increase by one. Luck never increases. Well, no skill is based off of luck, so luck always increases only by one. We shall do agility, I shall do strength, and I shall do speed. I want to get these two up as fast as I can. It, it doesn't, like, really matter too much. But it always takes, like, a couple seconds for leveling to happen. Uh, let's hope the game doesn't crash. It just takes this I don't know why it takes this long. I, I just don't know why it takes that long to load up. I think it's due to the fact that it's recalculating all the attributes to things and making new formulas. But I believe that was the end of this chamber. And I find it very interesting that I was able to kill that, uh, that necromancer with one fell sloop is just a sneak attack. So that means even if I hit him six times with my sword like that, it would still kill him. It was just that since it was a sneak attack, I can do it off in one spell swoop. And now we're back to the beginning. Now, uh, sometimes they'll do that in this game, but other times they don't do it like they do in Skyrim where there's 90% of the time always away back from the end of the dungeon. But as you see, it's very dark up here. But we, we got we got reached a beautiful area. But the next stop is certainly the Imperial City. But that is for another episode. So I want to thank you guys for watching. And I will see you next time.